Are we ready for the next act? Yes. Yeah. 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 John Mooney. Good evening, Admiral. I'm, uh, I'm John Mooney, otherwise known as uh, Poor Women's Al Pacino. <laughs> Never quite sure whether to take that as a compliment or an insult, but uh, the one interesting aspect is how it would actually translate to Glasgow. You can just see it, can you? Al Pacino stars in Scent of a Woman, shot on location in Castle Milk. <laughs> Hey, Shirley Ann, is that you? Or is somebody putting your spade in the cat again? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we've only got five minutes, so let me set the scene. <coughs> Rome, 200 AD. Christians to the lions. 18th century Russia. Persecution of the Romanian tribes. 21st century Glasgow. Harassment of pint-sized wannabe comedians in dodgy Glasgow drinking establishments. <laughs> well, I say dodgy. I've been in worse, but... Um, it is only fair to warn you, if anyone is thinking of kicking off, uh, I do have a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and some serious anger management issues. <laughs> so, uh, so here we go again, it's the, it's the wee guy with a chip on his shoulder and a bad attitude, I can, I can hear that coming from you, and I just think you'd, you'd have a point. I mean, the wee blokes don't get a very good press, really, do they? You only have to think of uh, Napoleon, Hitler, Morph. He was a right reactionary wee sword, wasn't he? Um, was volatile five inches of plasticine ever came across? <laughs> William Hague. I was just wondering if you'd like to join the Conservative Party. It's actually the only impression I can do, so I like to just put it in whenever I can. <laughs> so what is behind the antisocial mindset of the wee guy with a, with a bad attitude? That's what you're asking. Well, as with most things that are go wrong in the world, it's women that are to blame. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, the one crime that a woman will never forgive you for is any sort of challenge in the vertical dimension. <laughs> if you don't believe me, I'm not that dimension, mister, actually. <laughs> but, um, if you don't believe me, you have to check out these, these Dane websites. They're, they're a good laugh, or so I'm told. <laughs> one, of them, one of them's got 50 boxes for people to characterise their ideal partner. Now, why on earth they've got 50 boxes, I have no idea. I mean, for a start, guys, all they put is the standard three. In teeth, has an arse, and under 40. Stone. <laughs> but women, women tick even less. For goodness sake, all they put, the only selection criteria is number of feet off the ground. Anything else? No bothered. Criminal record for GBH? Oh, I like a bit of bad boy charm, you know. Genital hairpiece? piece? Oh, I like a guy with a bit of experience. <laughs> Less than five foot six? Piss off, you sick fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Forgotten where the next bit is now. <laughs> so actually, I think I think girls should just come clean. You know, I think uh, guys are up front, so we should they should really start by rewriting all the all the all the famous old songs. Like, uh, well, there's one that could go like. Um, the only boy who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. He's seven foot three and he tried to teach me do it on top of his furniture van. Furniture van, way up high. That's my guy! <laughs> oh, I could never do that. I uh... <laughs> could never really reach that high note before that botched operation a few weeks ago, you know. But <laughs> believe me, if a, if a dodgy surgeon approaches you guys and tells you can uh, improve your equipment for 200 quid, walk away now. <laughs> But actually, no, it was just a trick of the voice and I can, I can go down as well as I can go up. But uh, speaking of coming up and going down, this has sounded a lot more smutty than it was in rehearsals. I think it must be you. Or Margaret, for goodness sake, keep your filth to yourself. But yeah, I've just actually come back up from being down south for four years. I was uh, four years exile in Big Bad Bournemouth. And it, it might surprise you to hear it described like that because you're more used to hearing Dover for the continent and Bournemouth for the incontinent, but uh, <laughs> Bournemouth is actually the sin city of the south coast. There's more stag and hen parties on a Saturday night in Bournemouth than there is in the whole East Kilbride. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Shocking. The really scary thing though is that there must be some sort of, there's a, there's a part of Bournemouth a bit run down 
and there must be one of these special Doctor Who portals that's got a direct connection with Govan. I've not got all the dossers, all the winos, all the junkies, are all for the west of Scotland. But they've been mellowed. You know, they're sophisticated dossers. You know, it's a, uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, you got uh, £1.65 for a cappuccino. <laughs> But you know, the, the really scary ones, the really scary ones are the guys that, you know, the, the, the years of psychedelic drug abuse have they've developed a strange and bizarre personality disorder. They've got a compulsion that they've been persecuted by FBI assassins. Yet you've guessed it, they, they have developed the Bournemouth identity. <laughs> and you know, the way they react to this is they develop lightning reaction times, ninja style defenses, and just Absolute spot on um, reaction times. <laughs> so as you can see, I've not got it. <laughs> Which is actually, yep, yeah, you've guessed it, you're ahead of me now. The Bournemouth supremacy. <laughs> but if they're, if you were ever to challenge them about their fetish for fast cars and blowing up buildings, you better watch it, because then then you'll be confronted by the Bournemouth ultimatum. But um, as I think, it's never actually, it's never actually happened to me, apart from the uh, snuff video flashbacks and uh, <laughs> finding, finding a, a hold all in Glasgow Central with 17 passports. It's never actually occurred to me yet, but um, I think Al Pacino could still kick Jason Bones' ass because he is one bad dude. I've enjoyed me. Thank you very much. Good night.